once we're down to the bottom of this trail, we can have a hot sandwich. Yes. Oh. Oh. Continuing the soul cleansing trip up north, I climbed up to a breathtaking mountain top along the Alaska Highway. It's really starting to get cold. Found a waterfall and sat on the cliff edge, thinking of the thousands of ways I can fall down with my mortal body. Filled with adrenaline. Come join me and let me guide you through a nature's meditation. Calm the nerve for the journeys ahead. If it's humanly possible, you can do it too. It may not be easy, but if your will is strong enough, I'm sure you'll find a way to achieve. So this is the beginning of, I guess, official beginning of my journey up north. Arctic Circle, let's go. Before we leave Dawson Creek, actually, there is another mile zero post in downtown we'll have to go check out but this is more so just a uh, photo area we visited last time in the last episode that was the actual measurement of mile zero it should be somewhere here as we turn it oh look at that there we go right about there okay let's park and take a photo it's such a quiet intersection now. It's a weekend. I guess it's past the travel season. The Mile Zero Post is one of the most recognized and photographed icon in the BC section of the Alaska Highway. Dawson Creek Town Center on a weekend morning during the off tourist season, it's so quiet. None of the businesses were open. I barely saw any car at this major intersection. The only section with cars parked up front was a gym. No surprise. We're going to check out this one bridge. That's a historical significance of the old Alaska Highway when it was originally built. I believe, yes, the bridge is closed. Earlier this year, around June, it was closed up because of a landslide underneath and they were investigating it. Otherwise, you could have crossed the bridge from this way instead of the new paved um, Alaska Highway that we have now as Highway 97. This is a wooden curved bridge formation. At mile 21 on the Alaska Highway, Kiskatna Bridge is the first of its kind in Canada and the longest curved wooden suspension bridge in North America. This bridge took just as long to construct as the entire Alaska Highway and is the only remaining section of the original Alaska Highway that is load-bearing and could be driven across until the closure this summer. This wonderful piece of history offers a gorgeous view of the river valley. There's a provincial park underneath that offers camping. Unfortunately, it's also closed for now. Parallel from it is the new bridge built in 1978 when the highway was straightened. And that's where we're going to return to and bypass this wooden bridge. Apologies for the wind noise. Here I'm saying it's muddy. 
yep I am now off the highway into a side trail in one of my previous episodes I mentioned how I find cool spots in a new area I knew nothing about I'm following similar method now relying mostly on guidebooks there are tons of Alaska Highway guidebooks out there many include in-depth listing of surrounding site trails and attractions I am heading to a mountaintop fire lookout right now. You can find it from guidebooks or if you've got the top-notch navigator GPS layer, it's also shown on there. I won't spoil the fun for you to find this treasure, but if you really want to get my GPS tracking, join my Patreon and you'll get all my recordings, waypoints and a bunch of other perks. There's even a little camp table here. At 1800 meters in altitude, it's really starting to get cold. And do you see this? We got snow up here already. Maybe I'll clean my shoes from the mud earlier. Wow, so pretty. <laughs> Look at the view out there. Grow through the ridge. All of that. <laughs> so cool. Okay, I'm going to get my lunch heated, prepared, ready. So on our way back, once we're down to the bottom of this trail, we can have a hot sandwich. It's cold. <laughs> oh, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. But this is so amazing. The sun just about to come out as I was about to leave. So let's give the ridge another look. Ah, oh, ah, oh, so pretty. <laughs> Hands on me. Time. 
there. Absolutely amazing. This road can keep going a little bit more, but uh, time management. Uh, if in the summer, I would love to come on a mountain top like that. But when temperature starts to drop, the higher you go, the colder it is. And uh, yeah, it's pretty freezing. Let's find somewhere relatively lower so I can have a somewhat warmer night's sleep. Uh, right hand drive, if you have one problem, is on the passing lane, you often can't see if there's anyone in front of the truck. Alright, there we go. That's some really muddy road. I should probably clean up my lights at least. Covered. Okay, fast forward. <laughs> I came out of that trail from the mountaintop. Didn't want to air up because I had to air down again after uh, I believe that's 38 clicks on the highway. But running at around 20 psi on all four tires, I tried not to go too far. So staying at around 80, you probably still shouldn't, but saved me a lot of time. So now I am trying to find this waterfall and another trail. Get my legs stretching a little bit before sleeping for the night, I guess. I'll let you do the judge. So rounded by rock formation into a little bit like of a ball shape. To be honest, I am shitting my pants right now. I end up sitting here at the cliff for quite a long time, partially to enjoy the scenery and listen to the waterfall. But a big reason was I was freaking out. Basically, my body froze. I'm not particularly afraid of height, but sitting right at the edge to the bottom of a roaring waterfall, it's going to raise some heart rate for sure. When I finally got out, my body was filled with adrenaline. I felt wide awake and could go on to drive another six hours. Okay, maybe not. Take some deep breath, calm down. It's time to wind down for the night. Hey, want to do a relaxation session together? Here we go. Notice the breath as it enters your nose. Feel the air expand your lungs with each in-breath and relax. Now, observe as the air leaves your lungs and begin to travel upward. Just like how we have been traveling north. Feel the autumn air in your throat, your mouth, and across your lips. Notice the breath as a whole fluid action. See how the breath flow like waves. Now as you relax, you can count your breath as they continue to flow gently. If your mind goes wonder, just know that whoever you may be thinking on your solo journey, is probably thinking about you too. Look, they sent a heart-shaped cloud to your sunset. As the moon rises with your next inhale, pulse, and let it go. Have a good night. Casually grazing on the side of the highway. Thank you. 